guess what I have got? I think you already knew from the title and the thumbnail. It's the new Suku Spring Collection eyeshadow quads. There are two quads. One is 134 Sakura Utsushi and 135 Hina Taoli. Yeah. And basically 134 is the um, more pinky neutral toned um, quad and the other one 135 is the like teal greenish golden palette. They often do this like one warmer toned, one cooler toned. And I have already I mean I just swatched it and I can show you the close the close up footage but um just from you know from far it looks like this it's a pretty soft swatch before I show you the close up I thought I will mention uh, what type of like construction <laughs> is this uh palette basically there are two mats in each palette and one metallic -y like a topper shade and one super pigmented glittery shimmer shade so basically these two are mattes these this is the one that i mentioned is the intense pigmented one the uh, metallic -y glittery color and this one is the like multi-color looking one thought this one would be like glittery but it's actually not i mean it is but it's more like a satiny metallic -y with a little bit like um, glitter flex. So the way how I swatched this was, I basically only swatched this once, like layering the color only once because this color is very very pigmented in each of these palettes, like either of these palettes. And the other three I layered them twice, so like once and dip um, into the palette again and layer on it once again. That's how I swatched. This palette is the same. This this is the um, shimmery glittery shade that's super pigmented that I only swatched once. And these two are mattes, like fully mattes, not even satin, like mattes. And this is the like metallic -y, almost satiny with a little bit um, glitter flex. So now I think you can see the close-up swatch. I think both of them are, even though I said one of them is cooler toned, one of them is warmer toned, but overall I do think this collection in a whole, other than the like golden shade, are like pretty neutral. They are not too cool toned but also not too warm toned like at all, they are pretty neutral. Even the gold, I would love to say it's like a more neutral gold. It's not super um, orangey type of gold, if that makes sense. Enough of talking, I thought I would just like put them on my eyes. I have the Suku liquid foundation on my face already and I have a little bit of that same foundation on my eyelids and it's lightly set with some face powder. I think I want to put this palette on this side. I had uh, a post yesterday on my channel, like the community post or something like that. And in the comments, people are saying this is like more of the purple palette, like a purple mauveish palette, which I actually seen it in real life. It's actually not that um, purple at all. I think mauve will be closer but it's not that mauve either it's more of like cool toned pink it's almost like you mix pink with gray this is like what you would be end up with like this this color is like a taupey grayish like pink uh, metallic shade and these two are like all have a little bit gray instead of purple and this palette is actually very, very popular here. I bought this the second day of their launch date and this already sold out on their online store and multiple like counters, like this specific shade. And I had to go different locations to try to find one, basically. I understand this is like a very easy to use color and 
actually I would think is a pretty unique pink at the end of the day is like a nudie pink um, palette is not that um, special but at the same time I think a grayish pink is not that easy to find like a lot of times pinks are either like reddish or um, like purplish, like a mauve, but this is neither of that. Okay, okay, e enough of talking. I will now apply this and then I will show you some comparisons with their um, previous launches. Hopefully that can help you have a better understanding at the, the tone of the shades. I'm going to apply this color all over my lid. Let me bring you a little closer. Okay, you can see all my pores now. <laughs> Not sure if you can tell that much of the color because this color is very very soft like super super soft but there isn't much kick off at all it's pretty densely packed without being difficult to pick up product on your brush which i actually like this kind of formula i don't really like those super super pigmented um, like super loose kick off powder everywhere ty that type of powdery eyeshadow but I also don't like those ones are like super densely packed that is easy to get hard pans I don't like that either but yeah I think this is like very nice in the middle and I am barely putting any pressure on the brush and it's blending pretty nicely I feel like I don't know on the camera how much can you tell, but in real life, I really can see the gray tone in this. So if you don't really like like grayish type of color, I'm not sure if this palette is really for you because yeah, it, you can see the like the grayish tone in it, like especially when you apply it on your eyes. And now I'm thinking to deepen up a little bit with this like dark color in the right bottom corner of the palette like i think you can tell this shade is very soft as well i mean i'm not picking up a lot of powders at once at all but again like for how deep of a color it is this is like a very soft payoff i think every time i i do a suku review uh, i have to mention about this if you really like those super super pigmented eyeshadows you shouldn't get suku eyeshadow eyeshadows because they are not like the most pigmented ones and it's not because their quality is not good they are just intended to be that way okay i think this is pretty nice this like depth that i have built again don't know how well you can tell on the camera though uh, and now i'm gonna curl my eyelash because i want to layer the glitters and every time i feel like whenever i layer glitters and then i curl my eyelash the eyelash color just um, will take away a lot of the sparkles so I usually do all my mattes and curl my eyelash and then do the glitter or the shimmers and the eyelash color I use is also suku if you have like Asian eye shape like no matter what your um, race is like you, you have this Asian type of eyes where you don't have like a super deep set eyes and like it's rather flat the curve of your eye is rather flat i really think the suku eyelash color is like pretty nice because it's on the flatter side like this curl which fits my my asian eye shape really well i think the star of the show is is this one this is so beautiful i don't even think you can tell on the camera but it's it's this shade it's the most pigmented most sparkly shade in this palette i'm trying to show you in the best angle 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 but at the same time when i'm applying i can't see you so i don't know how well 
I'm showing you. Again, I feel like even this shade, even in my look like it's more of a nude pink when you swatch, but on the eyes it's like almost gray type of. In some people's eyes, it might uh, read as a purple because it's like a cool toned pink, but for me it really feels like a gray, like a grayish pink which is actually not that easy to see because a lot of times cool tone pink, like I said, either they are purple or sometimes they are like more like those hot pink, if you know what I mean. Like the, the blush that's very well for a couple months before, like on TikTok, those type of like cool tone pink is rarely this like like grayish pink, which is why I bought this palette because I think this collection is the first collection in a very long period that actually draw my eyes from Suku because I just feel like they have been like repeating themselves for like almost two years and this is the first collection that I feel like I actually want to um, spend my money on. Because it's their old self, like something easy to use, but just a little bit different than every other brand. For this shade, like the only doubt I have for this palette is like this shade, because usually you would want to put, well, at least me, I want to put like a shimmery or, or metallic shade all over my eyes and then put like the bright glitter on the center, right? So in that type of step, the, the glitter should be have more sparkle reflectiveness than this shade, right? But I just feel like this is more of a natural, like, I don't want to say dull, but it, it's like a more subtle type of reflection. If I'm not trying to review this, I probably will just only use one at a time. Like today, if I want a natural type of like center eyelid shade, I will use this one. If I want it to be more reflective, I will use this one. I probably wouldn't layer them if I were actually trying to use this palette. But yeah, for now, I, I guess I have to. Like I, I think on the finger, you can even see it's more of a like a natural type of finish. It's like you take a metallic, satin, and glitter, the three type of finishes, and mix them together. I think it's probably what they have done in this pan, right? Like you can see there are different colors. I suspect all of different colors are probably also different finishes. So when you mix them together, you just got this like a little bit metallic -y, a little bit glittery, a little bit like satiny, shimmery type of shade. Maybe I can put this on the inner corner. Well, well, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> expect this to be <laughs> this bright. I guess I have to take back um, all everything I have just said that this is not bright. Because in the swatch and on the finger, it looks so dull, but once it's on the eye, why is it so bright? <laughs> on, the, on the eyelid, it's not that visible at all. I guess it's like on bare skin. It's like very, very reflective. But yeah, like layer on top of other eyeshadows, it's not that bright. It's like the same as it is on the finger. And I'm going to layer this palette again because I want that sparkle. This is our look one using 134. I am actually really impressed. It's hard to find a mauve shade that works for me, but this, this is not mauve and I feel like it works pretty well. For the next one, this one, other than this, this shade is just like a neutral golden palette, right? So the star is this shade. The best way I can describe this shade is a pale um, pastel teal color because it's not like a true blue, but it's also not quite a green. It's like a baby blue, but a little greener. 
So I just feel like a pale teal color is probably the best way to describe this one. I'm thinking how I should apply this palette on my eyes because this blue even though I basically am buying this palette for this shade but um, I don't know how to show it better on the camera hmm. I mean if I'm really gonna use this um, palette like just by myself not to review I probably only would put this shade like on the this part like the half first half of my eyelid let's just do that <laughs> let's just do that because I was gonna apply this shade all over my eyelid but I'm afraid that that way it won't look good and the other deeper brown you probably can't really see the color the best and again these um, powders they don't have much kick off at all but at the same time it's not hard to get product on your brush and on my eyes I all, almost feel like it's more of a like a grayish color I think this collection is just like on a little bit of the gray side like undertone wise not the actual color also I just feel like when you're buying so cool eyeshadows it's probably better to consider that to be like a, a feel like a vibe of color rather than that true color will actually 100% show 100% show on your skin tone because especially the mattes a lot of times it's really just a hue and that's just their style and I actually really like that I don't really like super super pigmented eyeshadows like mattes wise <laughs> on the camera is somehow like lighter but in real life I can see the like baby teal tone on my eyelid but it's a very very subtle color it's not that like super intense super in your face type of color it's like translucent on your eyes let's layer the matte brown like this brown shade on the outer corner Usually this type of like deeper cool tone brown will be pretty hard to blend but this one is not. The color blends pretty well. One of the reasons that this blends well is probably because it's sheer but I have used some eyeshadow in the past that it's sheer but it's still managed to be patchy so I do think there are like good sheer formulas like out there for mattes and Suku is one of them. I think Asian companies overall does this pretty well like the sheer matte but like blend easily type of matte shadows and I'm just like slowly blending here like every time I just pat into the shadow like this like it's only a little bit of powder that's gonna um, get on your brush and I'm just blending slowly like that and a little bit of the same brown on the lower lash line the same steps as the other eye will curl my eyelash before I put any glitter or like a reflective formulas on top now let's use this gold this gold is so pretty can I see it? it looks like silk right it's so pretty This shade do have like a little bit of um, fallout that you can see on my face. I would just pretend that's a look. That's the look I'm going for. This like mixed shade. Yeah, I'm applying this on the inner corner. Yeah. On the bare skin, it's really, really intense. I think if you want to make this color look intense on your eyes, you probably can um, art like alternate your steps maybe you can use this color first on the center of your eye that way it can show like this intense and then you can build your depth like around it using the other mattes I think that would be like one method to make this color actually pop on your eyes 
But if you just want like a very subtle glow, of course you can layer this on the matte shadows. Just finished my eye makeup, put on some eyeliner and mascara. I think now you can see the like the full vis vision of these two palettes. I do feel like after like layering and like other stuff on the eyes i can barely see this like pale teal color on my eyes so maybe i can layer a little bit right now to show you but yeah i do think this color could be a little bit pigmented like a little bit better payoff yeah now maybe you can see it better Okay, let's finish our face first and then let's do some comparison with the past uh, palettes. Okay, for blush, I'm actually thinking this already discontinued blush that I've been loving this winter season is the Suku Melting Powder Blush in the shade 10. It's like a pretty cool toned, um, like pink color. But use it like lightly, it's like so pretty, like especially in the winter. This is really such a winter shade and I love this shade so much. I think I have like a couple weeks, weeks, <laughs> a couple weeks that I was exclusively using this shade. And actually in Japan, you can still get this shade from a lot of like secondhand um, websites. Like what I use is um, Medukali Lactin Lakuma Lakuma, and there's another app called Yahoo Flima. These three are the maps that sorry <laughs> the maps that I often use to buy like secondhand stuff. And this blush I actually bought like second hand new so they are not even unboxed unboxed so they are not even open they are like basically new but second hand and i bought them probably like 20 something dollars which is actually a great deal because even if they are like available on the counter if you are gonna buy the new one is like much more expensive like it's like twice the price i feel like this blush really can work with both of this one but it especially looks good with this like pinky um, eyes and because today we are like very neutral and especially this side is like very pinky neutral I'm thinking on the lips we can use some pinky tone this is the Pear Pear Ink Mood Glowy Tint in the shade 12 I think it's like a cooler toned nudie pink blend it in with my finger so it's like a subtle base shade and this same brand pear pear ink lasting lip gloss in the shade 03 i actually really really like this formula i think i like it better than the fenty one and this is much cheaper than the fenty one as well so i don't think i would repurchase the repurchase the fenty gloss ever again and just a little bit and it's like so glossy. I think it works the same, if not better than the, the Fenty one. And it's not even $10. I really, really like this makeup. Actually, I don't have any dupes for like either of these eyeshadows because I bought these because I don't think I have these shades, right? But I have some like comparisons that I can think of. First of all, I think one palette I can think of that is similar to this is their eyeshadow, uh, is the shade 01. I have had that, but I have um, decluttered that because it doesn't really look like very nicely on my skin tone. That one is a true mauve and it's like a deeper color than this. They are just the, in the similar color family and I don't think they are like a dupe at all i think they are pretty different and another pink in their collection is this 04 which is much like warmer i think comparison this two you can get like a better understanding of this 
even the matte is not the same like this shade already is a nudie pink but it looks like orange next to this palette because this is so cool tone it's like a grayish pink the other shades there's no similar shades at all other than the topper but the topper is like a different finish so it doesn't look alike at all. Colourpop pressed powder palette in the shade Sorbet. I just feel like this is the only like oh I'm holding the wrong palette. I mean to compare this to okay. This is like a mauve palette that's actually working on my skin tone and I think comparison this two you can see that this palette is pretty great. This looks like red against this but if I just show you this wouldn't you think that's like a pinky mauve palette right but once I put this next to it this looks red and purple of course this is not a purple eyeshadow but you know the undertone looks a little bit like a reddish burgundy a little bit purple right but this is not a purple I don't think there's gonna be any similar color here but if we are already here why not right this is the glam palette from Natasha Denona in this palette there's a lot of taupe shades and some pinks, this shade, right, it's like a topper that's like a pinkish topper. But I feel like next to it, this pigmented shade looks a little bit gray, right? It's more of a cool toned grayish pink. And like none of the colors is the same because this just is like way cool, cooler toned. And this is already a pretty cool toned palette, right? But yeah, this is way on the cooler side. Pomegranate, the only pomegranate palette that I have that has some mauve um, colors. Basically, this is a super deep mauve shade, and this is another mauve shade. And you, you can see this, this dark color is not at all a mauve. That's Tasha Dinona palette, like the super big one that I have, is this purple. Um, palette yet I don't think any of these are like actually dupes I do think this is like a pretty unique um, neutral color again that's why I bought this and yeah I for how cool toned this is I think it actually works pretty nicely on my super warm olive skin tone I'm like a golden olive skin tone so like a lot of times these cool tone pinks don't work on me but this one actually looks pretty nice it doesn't make my skin tone look like dull like a lot of other mauve shades make it look and now i think we can compare the this one i think one ipad one palette that this uh, reminds me of is 08 of course that's not gonna be a dupe at all right it's like so 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 different but that's what it reminds me of this is like a the pastel version of this a teal like more on the green side of a teal color right this has like a pastel um green in it and this has like a gold color in it and th this is like a, a neutral toned gold and i actually right now don't have that much gold eyeshadow in my collection but let's compare to some of the ones that i do have compared to this gold this does look a little bit peachy right but i do think both of the gold here are pretty like neutral gold and i have another shade that has like a little bit golden like orangey color in it zero two right this color is like a pretty warm orangey a little bit golden color but yeah like next to this new one it looks like pretty orange and maybe we can compare to the green brown palette from Natasha Genoma I think next to these true greens you can see that this is like not a true green it looks a little bit blue but not quite like blue and this is actually like an orange super warm golden gold and next to it, I think this look more neutral. Maybe we can compare to the to a pastel palette. This is the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. Yeah, I don't think any of these shades look 
like this like this is like a true baby blue right and you can see this look like a little bit more green than that it's not a baby baby blue actually like only looking at this you might think it's like a blue but next to a true baby blue baby blue it's not at all a baby blue that's it i think i really really liked these two eyeshadow palettes and like i said i think this is one of the collection that i am actually interested from them in a very very long time because in the past two years i barely bought any of their eyeshadow palettes i think for the whole 2023 i didn't buy any like other than like that one pre-order palette aside from that none of their collection that i purchased anything like eyeshadow palettes wise and in 2022 i didn't purchase any either because i just feel like they are repeating themselves and even though i don't think any of these palettes like they don't they haven't done anything similar before they definitely have but i just feel like these are different enough that is meaningful if you know what i mean all of the comparison that i just showed you i think you can tell that is i really don't have the shades in these two palettes in my collection i think it's really the old suku style that's easy to use but just a little bit different and i hope they can keep this style in the whole 2024 at least the one con complain that my have is this pale teal color i feel like it's fading a little bit too quick i have layered this like pretty i don't want to say thick layers because it's not i'm taking very little product like building very slowly but it's fading a little bit so probably you can use some like sticky base to keep this color on but other than that i don't see any um problem in these two palettes i just think you need to know what you are getting into before you buy these so if you have a counter maybe go swatch mm, if you don't have a counter maybe see more reviews especially from people that's similar to your skin tone just remember the mats are not gonna be like the color you see in the pan is the color you see on the eyes is rarely the case for suku they are really just for a vibe especially the mattes but this color yeah what, what you see is what you it looks on the eyes that's all i have to say and thank you very much for watching bye